Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my channel, TechnoCube, and you are in the series of fundamental of cybersecurity. Uh, we are doing port scanning. Uh, so earlier you had seen um, fragmented scan, and you know that a fragmented scan is a fixed scan uh, where you have a data length of 42 byte or 60 or 44 or 40, right? So uh, it is fixed. So firewall definitely understand that if a fixed length of 60 byte comes, I should block it, right? You can do that. So that we had seen. So now the question is, if this length 60, length 44 and 40 is completely blocked by the firewall of the target, then how to scan? Well, one option in Nmap is, is there. You can, these are fixed length by the way, is blocked by the firewall. You, what you can do, you can create a frame which is dynamic in nature. It create a frame of 61 bytes, then somehow it is not possible to block by the firewall because there is no rule for it, right? Maybe 43 and byte, right? You can do that. So uh, one option in the Nmap is there, which is dash dash data dash length uh, and then the size of the data you can provide. Then Nmap is not gonna, uh, sorry, the firewall is not gonna block you. It is somehow tell you to enter into the target system. This is what we can do. So here, uh, one more time, if I uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, um, uh, if I type a rule like this, this is for 60 byte and uh, this is for 44 byte and this is of uh, 40 byte. So, and when I do this in map dash F dash P22, 192.168.117.128, then the then the SSH connection that is port 22 is closed for me. Why? Because I have a rule for it, right? But now if I want to, you know, exactly because 60, 44 and 40 is being blocked, uh, I can do something like, you know, data length, I can change that. So the syntax is nmap dash dash data dash length and provide the length here. So it's a 12 byte now. You see it's a 12 byte and dash p22, give the IP address of target machine. And 128. If you do that, you see it is going to give me the exact state of that service. So it is open and it is open actually. And there is no rule written for this dash dash uh, dash length 12, right? So it is not blocked. Even if you block it somehow, you see it is this rule is not going to work there. Uh, if I do the same scan, it is going to give me the open connection, even if you block this with this kind of rule. Uh, definitely there is a there is an option to block this i mean this request dash dash uh, day, dash length 12 if you know please comment in the comment section how to block this uh, would be a reasonable thing for you know uh, create a new video on it right so if this is a length 12 uh, then uh, it is not going to be blocked by the firewall and it will tell me the exact state of the ssh now the question is how how do we you know understand that uh, the uh, some attacker is attacking my machine with a port scan uh, with this kind of option. How can I how can I know this? Well, to know this, you just have to look after in the Wireshark one more time, and you can easily find the actual TCP connection. So I will be on the ETH of zero interface, and uh, one more time, I'm going to clear this first of all, and let me run the scan again. So this is land 12. So I opened it, uh, sorry, I do that and I close this. Now, how to check this? How basically I can do this? Well, you see, you need to check out for, uh, I, I mean, you will not get uh, initially the thing, but uh, you need to go for like this. This is a RST connection. This is a SYN ACK. There is no, you know, first, uh, there is a SSH here. So it's a length 12. It directly tells you that is a length 12. Can you see? So you had sent a packet which is of length 12. How you get this length 12? It's a simple thing. See, uh, you can create it actually. Uh, let me see the SSH. Okay, so this is the connection is completely encrypted. Now you see this is 70 byte, right? So 70 minus 14 is going to be again, um, if you look after 17 minus 14 is 56. So let me go for internet. So there is, there you go. You have a length of 56. Now, uh, if you see the TCP header here, it's a TCP header here. Um, where is it? Um, I think uh, it's 
12 i guess so if you minus this 56 minus yeah it's a 12 right so 56 minus 12 if you do that then you will get the exact 44 right it is actually it is 44 uh, see the total length right so the total length is 44 but it is hiding behind that 12 right so if you calculate it is 44 eventually but it is uh, it is 12 that i'm sending so it's a 70 minus 14 of ethernet frame you will get 56 right so 56 is here in the internet protocol here so 56 minus 12 minus 12 for tcp header so that you had sent the header if you if you minus it if you minus it you will get a, a 44 um, uh, in the in the thing okay let me observe the other things this is the first time actually i'm making this sorry it's it's hang now okay so it's a 50 uh, sorry it's a 56 now in the ip and then minus 12 is going to be 44 and let me see what other things are there Options is having four points. All right, so 12 bytes is for payload, right? So 12 is the data length. So I'm sending with the data uh, length. It's not the total length, right? So 44 you will uh, get eventually in the in the last end. So this way you can find uh, the the uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, this this scan so all these are uh, rst packets it's a to reset the connection it is saying it's good and again we have a retransmission reset it and then retransmission so something like that so i hope uh, you understand this scan and uh, if you find uh, interesting then please hit that like button if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you so much and we will see you in the next session thank you so much guys